Okay. How many bodies do you have? Why am I single? What ex would you take back if your life depended on it? Worst link in college. Hey y'all, it's your girl Leah Huncho back at it again with another video, y'all. Um, before we get started, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, and y'all did good on my last video, so I'm gonna need y'all to continue and doing good on this video as well. But being that I was getting a lot of new subscribers, I wanted to come on here and introduce myself, just to give like a, a formal introduction of who I am. So, anyways, let's get into the video. So, the first question is, what is my real name? My real first name is Aaliyah. If you can't say oh, like Leah, Aaliyah. Yeah, my first name is Aaliyah. Um, A plus V A L I Y H. Don't get it right. Get it right. Like, don't be. It's not A L E A H. However, y'all be spelling it. That's not how you spell my name. I'm repeat it. A apostrophe A L I Y H. Aaliyah. It's Aaliyah. It's not Aaliyah. It's not Aaliyah. None of that. Aaliyah. What's my age? I am 19. Currently, I am 19 years old. I turned 20 this year, but um, at the end of the year. But I turned 20 this year. I am 19 years old. My birthday is December 19, 2003, baby. Yeah, uh, early. I'm like basically a 90s baby, but yeah. Yeah, I'm 19. So And last year, I turned 19 on the 19th, so that was really cool for me. But yeah, I'm finna turn 20. I have to keep saying that because I'm finna turn 20. What's my major? My major is early childhood education. I originally originally was going to do nursing, but my um, university don't offer nursing. And also, I was like, I, how I want to be a nurse and dead people freak me out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're a nurse, you're going to see plenty of dead people every day. And I just feel like I'd rather help on another end with churn so yeah i'm gonna be um uh early childhood well i'm gonna be an elementary teacher um i'm aiming for a preschool if not kindergarten am i in a relationship y'all i am not in a relationship i am not in nothing y'all i am single as a pringle ready to mango you hear me am i looking for a relationship i wouldn't say i'm necessarily looking for one i'm not but if a relationship comes to me, then yeah, I won't knock it down. I'm not necessarily looking for one though. Like I was, but like I'm in college and uh, nobody's going to take me serious because I'm in college. Like nobody in college, nobody from home is going to take me serious. So I'm not looking. And plus I'm too busy. Like I don't have time to text people all day, all day, all day. That's so annoying. Like... I don't have time for that, so I'm not looking for a relationship, but I am looking for friends. So hit me up if you want to be my friend. I'm open to friendships. I'm nice. I'm very loyal. So if you a snake, don't even bother. Where am I from? I am from Charleston, South Carolina, y'all. I'm from Chuck, the Chuck, South Crackalackin. I am from the Five, y'all. If you want to get more specific, the Wayland. Yeah, that's my hood or whatever, but I've been all around Charleston. I've done live in downtown, the Mount, the Wayland, um, Somerville. I don't live everywhere in Charleston, but I am formerly from the Five, and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Like, North Charleston. Why did I start a YouTube? Oh, I've been had I had my channel since 2016. Like I can literally pull back videos from me being a young and making like how to make slime videos and stuff like that. But um I made my channel because I just always like like recording myself. Like it's like deeper than just like like you know how girls are like mm, no it's deeper than that like I enjoy recording myself I enjoy letting the world see me I enjoy telling my story that's why like I'm an open book so if you ask me anything I'll tell you like straight out like yeah I did this before like you know if it can help you if you just being nosy you can get on my face but like I'm pretty much an open book with anything like and I feel like growing up I didn't really have that much friends like I had mad siblings but. I didn't 
didn't have that much friends. So YouTube is like a way of me having a bunch of friends that I never have. So I just talk to my camera. I enjoy it. I love making videos. I love editing. I just love everything about the process. Uh, I like when people come to me and be like, oh, your video was nice. Da, da, da. I just love recording myself. I love showing my life off, even the bad. Um, I love talking to the camera. I just love entertaining. That's it. I think I just love entertainment. Like, if I could be an actor, I would. If I can be a singer, I would. I just love the entertainment. Like, me entertaining people. Me being, like, the the face. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, I created my channel because, yeah, like, a lot of different reasons. Like, I just love YouTube. And I always seen it, and I always knew, like, I can do this. Like, I feel like my personality is I can cold switch and stuff like that. But I feel like overall my personality is, like, kind of, like, real loud, real outspoken, but I can, I know how to dial it back as well. So I feel like I have a YouTube personality. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge I can share with you guys that I can teach other women and other kids in general, other students, other anything. I have a lot of knowledge that I can teach you from experience and stuff like that. So yeah, I create my channel to help people, to help me. So yeah, I think that's the finance. I think the finance is I created my YouTube channel to help me and help people around me because I'm helping myself because this is like my outlet like this is what I do to make myself happy this is what I do to get stuff off my mind and stuff like that and y'all can benefit from it because y'all can not only watch your girl but y'all can learn like I, I like I'm gonna get more into like posting like advice and stuff for like girls and boys and young and old people like you know wherever it fits so yeah and how many bodies do you have I have about I have zero bodies. I ain't never killed nobody a day in my life. Yeah. I never plan on killing anyone. I would never do that. Um, killing killing people is bad. Like, who would ask me how many bodies do I have? I've never killed nobody. Do I look like I kill people? Act, act, answer that in the comments. Do I look like I kill people? Like, do it look like I got like bodies? Like, come on now. Yeah, I have zero bodies, y'all. I don't do that ghetto stuff. Who is my favorite? favorite artist my favorite artist is the the one and only like the mother the number one the queen of rap Nicki Minaj like what like she basically raised me like she basically raised me I love everything about her music she is so diverse like she is so like yeah like heart ball she never missed ever so yeah that she's my favorite and we can argue we can argue. I, I like a good debate. Like, who's not? Like, not only is she good, but to me, but the charts never lie. The numbers never lie. So, play with somebody else and don't play with her ever, ever. But, yeah. Baths or sh bath or showers. Um, I'm more of a shower girl because I would take a bath, but most, nine times out of ten, the, the tubs are by the toilet. And I don't want to sit by the toilet, like... And when I, whenever I get my own house, I'm going to specifically have it built where my toilet is like in its own little thing. I don't want my toilet nowhere by my toothbrush, none of that. I don't, I hate that. Like, it's something about, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, I don't take, I don't like taking baths if the tub is next to the toilet. Ooh, my leg is not but yeah, um, so yeah, I prefer showers. It's just quicker. You get in, you get out, you gotta do all that, letting the water out, cleaning the tub when you're done, cause you know some of y'all be dirty. Um, but uh, yeah, I just prefer showers. However, I do want to take a bath because I just need to relax my bones. Like I'm so so. But you know I'm in school right now, so I can't take a bath. So anyways, yeah, showers for me. That's just my personal opinion. Y'all can call me dirty all you want. Um, I ain't never had no complaints. Idea of a perfect date. Okay. My idea of a perfect date will be someone taking me out without me knowing. Just surprise me. First of all, just surprise me. Period. That's number one. And when you surprise me, have everything already situated. I hate depending on people and stuff go wrong. So, have everything already situated. I don't want to be able to worry about anything. That's just already for starters. For, um, for the, like, when it comes to, like, where would I want to go for a birthday? For me personally, y'all 
like call me a little nerdy because I am. But I would prefer like um like a uh, a zoo. More specifically, Myrtle Beach Safari. I want to go touch the animals. I love animals, y'all. I love animals like I love kids. I just think they're so cute. I love animals. Anyways, yeah, I would do like a nice, cool zoo day. You know, we can walk and talk and vibe. You know, feel a vibe out. You know, I love to talk. And I love animals. So, if you take me to the zoo, and don't take me to no aquarium. That's not the thing. I mean, I wouldn't knock an aquarium. I've been to the aquarium, but I like to see the good, exotic animals. So I prefer the zoo. Um, and then after that, a nice go ahead. I can go ahead and get me a little seafood boil. That's another reason I don't like to go to the aquarium because I don't look at them like animals. They food to me. I don't look at no sea animals as animals. They food to me. So I be hungry when I go in the aquarium. I want to be going to the aquarium and enjoying the freaking sight. I don't want to think about I'm about to eat them animals that's in the freaking water. Anyways, y'all, so yeah, after the zoo or whatever, like, where I'm involved with, like, a petting zoo even, like, somewhere I can get involved with the animals, maybe, oh, um, you know, take me out to a seafood boy. I love seafood. Seafood is my favorite, 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 favorite food. And, um, don't give me a budget. Like, take me out to eat seafood without a budget. Like, I'm not gonna run out, but like, I don't wanna feel like I got a whole bag. So anyways, and then, that's it. Like, that's really it. Like, my, I feel like whoever, if you wanna take me on a day, that's literally so easy. The zoo and the seafood spot, bro, I would love you on the spot. Like, I love, that's like one of, two of my favorite things, animals and seafood. But yeah. Somebody who can do that for me will have my heart any day, literally any day. So what are my nicknames? Um, you can call me Leah, Lily, Leah Huncho. My parents call me Fire. Um, you can call me the baddest. <laughs> Shall I continue? Um, whatever you call me, just don't call me broke. Just don't call me broke, even though I am. And I'll why am I single? Um, I'm single because my other relationships didn't work, obviously. But I'm single because I feel like I asked for, I don't know. I feel like I asked for too much of what they can give me. So I'd rather not take them at all. Like, I just feel like I'm young, right? And I just feel like it's like billions of boys in this, on this earth. And I feel like... If you can't give me, and I'm not one of those girls that be like, you have to take me out 24-7. You have to do this. You have, like, I'm not one of those girls. But listen, I'm not, you have to buy me flowers. I just want someone who who is rooted in Christ and who is just kind-hearted. Like, most of these dudes don't be considering my feelings. Like, they be thinking about themselves. And I can't deal with a man like that. Like, no. I do, like, listen. And, and I'm single because if I see one red flag, you're a goner. Like, I don't warn people when I'm about to cut them off. Because I just feel like some stuff be common sense. And plus, I give people chances. Like, when it comes to, like, something you do, and I'm like, okay, I'm not going to lie. That's a little weird. Don't do that. And you do it again? Okay, bye. Because I know I'm pretty. I can get any dude I want. If I just wanted a random dude, I can do that. But I'm not, I don't want a random dude. I want a dude that's for me, and I'm dating to marry. And I just feel like I'm not going to stop until I find the perfect guy. My financer, I'm single because none of these dudes get what I be looking for. What ex would you take back if your life depended on? Oh, I don't know I want to name drop, but... I don't want to name drop, but yeah, just know this ex right here never cheated on me, and uh, we were young, so we were like in to grade, so I would date them again because they never did anything wrong to me, however, however, I just, you know, there were stuff going on in a relationship that I feel like if my life depended on that, I would take them back. But, you know, other than that, yeah. Worst link in college. Oh, my God. Ah, 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 ah. Yo, 
y'all. Let me tell you about this dude. Ugh. I get like yucky every time I speak on this boy. So we're gonna call this boy as me and my friend call him. We're gonna call him Track Star. Y'all, Mr. Track Star. Let me just give y'all the, sh the rundown. The little, I'm going to give y'all like a little preview of how it started. I seen him. I'm a freshman in college. If I didn't say that. I'm a freshman in college. He is up a class. And I seen him since a long time ago. Me and my friend was like, oh yeah, he fine, he fine, he fine. One day I got bull. I was like, you know I'm about to shoot my shot. I shot my shot. I made it. Mm -hmm. So he accept. Well, he didn't accept. I made the shot. Um... And this is my first time, I think, shooting my shot at a guy. At the times, I just be like, I don't know. But anyways, I shot my shot. And it, and it went through. So, yeah, let's not scroll past that. It went through. I, I, I got riz. Like, I got game. Anyways. um, Turns out, dude had a girlfriend. Whew, the gag, y'all. He had a whole girlfriend. Well, it was told to me he had a girlfriend. I asked. He said no. Uh typical he's not gonna tell me yeah i got a girlfriend when you just was telling me you want to be my man anyways um that doesn't make him the worst every guy she that don't make them the worst what made him the worst is that his breath was stink and he kept trying to freak on me sir i'm not letting you freak on nobody with that mouth smelling like that and i went and told my friend his, his mouth was stink but i was just letting it slide because he was cute and yeah, and I feel so dumb for doing that because not only was his breath thing and he was trying to freak on me, he kicked me out because I didn't let him freak on me. Sir, you were the worst. And still to this day, he be trying to throw a little conversation. I be like, dude, please go about your life, sir. But yeah, um, he he was the worst. Looks can be deceiving. I'm telling y'all, he was so freaking handsome to me, and mouth literally smelled like the garbage the garbage cocaine. So, um. Yeah, every time I seen him, I can see if <sighs> child. Anyways, yeah, he was the worst ever, ever, ever. All my other links in college, they, they, they was bad too, but they weren't as bad as this one. Like he just was disrespectful, kicking me out because I didn't want to give you no nookie. What? I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I was like, wow. I'm glad I didn't because my three of my biggest turns turn offs. Mm. As I just said previously, bad breath. If your breath is stink, please stop. Like, I just feel like I'm not expecting your breath to smell like mint. I'm not saying that. But a stink breath, your breath <clears throat> should not smell like you just woke up all day. That smell bad. Nobody want to smell that. Number two is insecure men. Men who accuse you of doing what they be doing or they just not, they don't know they work. Like, come on now. Stop giving giving your body up like that. You know, men who don't know they work is a man who just try to have sex with you. Um, don't ask me to have sex. My answer is going to be no. Don't ask me nothing like that. Don't keep trying either because no. And that's going to get you blocked. No, don't, don't, don't. If I could date one celebrity, who would it be? I don't want to be typical, but... <laughs> I would date John Morant. John Morant's father and I uh, attends the same HBC. Yeah, his dad is an alumni of Clapham University, and I am currently in Clapham University. So that's just for starter. And he got a daughter? That's okay. Um, I've been a step mom for so I don't care, y'all. I, I would date John Moran. He's just so handsome to me. He just give, like, yeah. So, anyways, y'all, um, that will conclude this Q&A, getting to know me. I hope you got to know a little about your girl. A little about your girl. Um, And I hope you women like me. Like, I be trying to be authentic as possible. So, these questions I answer, answer as truthfully as possible. With my right hand on the Bible, y'all. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if you made it this far, I love you 10 times. XO, XO, XO. Um, and leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Don't be shy, because I'm a little fly. Uh, see you next time, y'all.